Hey guys, it's Townix here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the M2 MacBook Air against the M2 MacBook Pro, and I'm going to be explaining why the M2 MacBook Air is the better buy out of these two, despite the MacBook Pro costing $100 more than the MacBook Air. I'll also be mentioning the 14-inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip from last year, so make sure to watch to the end of the video if you guys are interested in that. But with that said, let's get right into the video. Now before I get started with the comparison, I think it's important to mention that this video is mostly going to be based on the reasons why the M2 MacBook Air is better than the M2 MacBook Pro, but I'm also going to mention an exception to this because there is one area of the MacBook Pro that is better than the M2 MacBook Air. I'm not really going to go to every single detail of all these features in these laptops. I'll mainly talk about those in upcoming reviews, so this video is just going to be a comparison. Now the first reason why I prefer the M2 MacBook Air over the M2 MacBook Pro is its design. This generation it comes with a selection of four different colors, those being Space Gray, Silver, Starlight, and Midnight. The model I have is the Starlight version, which sort of represents a previous generation's M1 MacBook Air's gold version. Uh, however, they're not exactly the same color. Uh, the M1 MacBook Air with the gold uh, version had more of a saturated color on it. Uh, this year, with the Starlight one, it's more of a, like a yellowish color, which I prefer more over the gold one from previous generation. Another new color option that you can pick is the Midnight one, which a lot of people actually like because of its new dark and sleek design. But just one thing to be aware of is that it attracts a lot of fingerprints, and it's also very sensitive to scratches so keep that in mind if that's something that would annoy you for the m2 macbook pro on the other hand it still comes with a standard silver and space gray options the model i have is the silver version when we look at the chassis of these two laptops the new macbook air features a newer design while the macbook pro uses the same design as previous generation m1 the new macbook air has a different keyboard probably the same as last year's 14 inch macbook pro the keyboard deck is also completely flat now like the pro instead of at an incline like M1 MacBook Airs. Now this year the MacBook Air with M2 is thinner and weighs slightly less than the M1 MacBook Air and it also weighs substantially less than the M2 MacBook Pro. For port selection for the M2 MacBook Air, Apple has now introduced MagSafe so now you can charge with the included MagSafe cable and the port which leaves two USB ports available instead of one. The M2 MacBook Pro on the other hand still uses a st standard cable for charging. Overall, I prefer the new design of the M2 MacBook Air, and honestly, for the M2 MacBook Pro, I feel like its design is starting to show its age. The second major reason why I think the M2 MacBook Air is better than the M2 MacBook Pro is that it has a better display. The M2 MacBook Air comes with a liquid retina display, which supports 1 billion different colors, while the M2 MacBook Pro comes with a standard LED display, which supports only 16 million different colors. And that display has been used on the previous model, I believe, so this is kind of dated. In my opinion, I think this does make a real world difference, whether if you're just watching movies or, or if you're doing graphic work like Photoshop. Uh, I definitely think that the M2 MacBook Air will offer a better user experience when it comes to display. And although there is this notch at the top where it blocks some display on the M2 MacBook Air, and I know it does bother some people, but I personally don't mind it at all. And I think it's worth having that with the M2 MacBook Air display instead of uh, using the, the less colorful M2 MacBook Pro's display. Now the next few things I'm going to mention are not as important as the two reasons I've just talked about earlier, but I still think they're worth including. First off, the webcam on the M2 MacBook Air has a 1080p resolution, while the M2 MacBook Pro is still using that 6 year old 720p webcam. So if you're in video conferences or meetings, that webcam on the M2 MacBook Air is noticeably of higher quality. Second, the speakers on the M2 MacBook Air, although there are four speaker sound system, I don't really notice the difference between those speakers versus the M2 MacBook Pro speakers. The same goes for with the microphone quality, the difference is negligible as well. Right now I am testing out the microphone on the MacBook Air. Now this is a test on the MacBook Pro's microphone. 
there are some people who say that the air is better on these two things but i really just don't notice the difference so i just wanted to point that out so earlier in the video i mentioned that there was one thing that the m2 macbook pro did better than the m2 macbook air and that is thermal performance since the air does not have a fan it does have some thermal limitations when it comes to heavy duty tasks if you run light tasks the performance between these two machines is identical, but if you push the machines for a longer period of time, then the performance on the air is throttling, while the Pro is actually sustaining that performance since it has that fan to cool the system down. However, these kinds of situations only happen in cases like rendering high resolution videos or exporting lots of photos from something like Photoshop, uh, where you're pushing the CPU and GPU pretty hard. And to be honest, most people who are buying the M2 MacBook Air aren't looking forward to exporting these 4K videos or doing these demanding tasks 24 seven. So I don't think this is going to be an issue for those users. But if you're someone who does these things all this time, then the M2 MacBook Air may not be for you. But instead of getting the M2 MacBook Pro, I would recommend getting the 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip from last year. It has a better display and substantially higher performance that would overall just offer a better experience for you. It, it is a bit of a price jump, basically 550 more than the Air, but I think it's worth it if you can afford that. Now, what about battery life? Apple claims that the M2 MacBook Pro lasts up to 20 hours, while the M2 MacBook Air lasts for 18. So this should be a reason why the M2 MacBook Pro is better, right? Well, not exactly. In my opinion, I don't think there's any real world difference in the battery life between these two machines, especially if you got something that lasts that long anyway. I've been using both these laptops for a while now, and I don't really notice a difference between the battery life. And if Apple didn't specify the battery life for these laptops, I would not be able to guess which one had the longer one just by using them without testing, of course. Overall, I think that most people should be getting the M2 MacBook Air over the M2 MacBook Pro. Even though the Pro only costs $100 more, I still think that the Air is the better buy because it has a better screen, a better camera, and better portability, and overall providing a better experience for the average user. Most people can't really take advantage of the features that the Pro offer, so I feel like there's very little reason to get that laptop. But that's my opinion on these two laptops. I uh, hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like down below. So make sure to get subscribed if you want to see more upcoming laptop videos. If there's anything I missed or if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer as many as I can. But that's it for me and I'll see you all in the next one.